ACC is considering SMU along with California and Stanford in their expansion talks. Holy smokes. Welcome to episode 288 of College Football's Peek Around the Corner with your host, Greg Flugar. We cover everything in college football because we love everything in college football. And if you do as well, please subscribe to our ever-growing channel. Smash that like button if you like our content. Share the video with your family and friends. Let's get to it. Let's not waste any more time. Sources, ACC considering SMU. Ross Dellinger, Yahoo Sports. We provide a link in the description. You can read the whole article. Put down your comments and thoughts about this article, about SMU being truly considered in expansion with the ACC. We're not going to read the whole article. We're just going to get to the important points of it. Holy smokes. Again, Ross Dellinger just broke this news. The expansion conversation in the ACC goes beyond Stanford and California. A third school, SMU, is in consideration. Sources tell Yahoo Sports. At a meeting of the league's presidents on Tuesday, executives explored the possibility of adding all three universities. That's what happened this morning. Or only inviting the Pac-12's two members. Administrators are expected to continue examining the expansion options and will review financial models of both scenarios, adding three or adding just two. More than a year now, SMU has held various degrees of dialogue with several leagues in its pursuit to join the Power League, including the Big 12, Pac-12, and ACC. A small private school, SMU resides in one of the America's most populous metro areas, Dallas, in the heart of a talent-rich football state. But maybe even more important, this is the PATC money shot of this article. Maybe even more important, the university, SMU, would arrive at a reduced rate, employing a rich donor base and a healthy desire to advance to the Power Four level. The university is open to foregoing conference distribution pay for their first several years in a new league. SMU officials held similar conversations with the Pac-12 administrators. That is the money shot. That is the money shot. The financials are the most significant piece to a potential ACC expansion. ACC schools are handcuffed for another 13 years as part of a binding agreement tied to an ESPN contract that pays league members only a portion of the Big Ten and SEC TV cash. The ACC announced a distribution of $39 million last year, which most came from a TV contract. In expanding, the league must avoid reducing the annual distribution paid to each team to supplement the new schools. That is a non-starter, several administrators tell Yahoo Sports. And again, finally here, this has got to be said. A perk of the ESPN contract, the network is required to increase its base distribution to the conference in a way that pays each member, each new member, the same annual rate as others, what's termed as pro rata. However, financial complications go much deeper. To offset the additional travel costs of acquiring Stanford, Cal, and or SMU, the current ACC members will need additional revenue from the network, or Stanford and California would have to agree to enter the league for a partial share, conversations which are ongoing. So, ACC continued this morning with expansion talks among the athletic directors, among their presidents in two separate meetings. California, Stanford, and SMU is part of the discussions. And SMU, according to this report by Ross Dellinger, Yahoo Sports, SMU is, is willing to forego conference distribution of cash to the SMU for years. How many years? We do not know. So that money, that distribution, that money that goes from ESPN to SMU or ESPN to ACC distributed to SMU, that money would go to the other current ACC schools. Is that enough to get the votes to get SMU into the conference? Is that enough money to elevate 
the ACC schools and how much money they can get. Would that satisfy a Florida State, a Miami, a North Carolina? Would it? We shall see. California and Stanford willing to come in at a reduced payout. That extra money would also go to the current ACC schools. Would that be enough for Florida State to vote yes for expansion? For Miami of Florida to vote yes for expansion? For North Carolina to say yes for expansion? A Virginia, a Virginia Tech, would California, Stanford, SMU, if California and Stanford take, took reduced rate, reduced payouts, and if SMU says we don't need any ACC payouts at all for the first two, three, four years as members of the ACC, is that enough to get the votes? Is that enough money for the ACC schools to grab and say, okay, we will do this expansion? Put down your comments, comments and thoughts in the comments section below the video. I just did a live show here at Peek Around the Corner. We don't believe the ACC is in play, even with the ESPN pro rata to grab a California Stanford. We don't see how Florida State says yes. We don't see how North Carolina says yes. We don't see how Miami of Florida says yes. More schools in the ACC, just for one example. All those schools, the current schools, would play Notre Dame even less than they do now. And that's part of the value. The, the scheduling with Notre Dame, five conference games, that's part of the value of having what they get with the ACC network, what they get in their value of selling tickets in their football stadiums. Wow, I don't think this is going to go down. But tell me that I'm wrong. Tell me that I'm wrong in the comments section below the, below the video. The SMU inclusion to this, SMU willing to take no money Conference payout distribution for the several years that they are included as a, a member of the conference. Mm, that's something to think about. That's something to think about. We don't think it's going to happen, but talks continue. Also, talks continue among the Mountain West as they try to nab a California Stanford. California Stanford, they have to go somewhere. They have to end up somewhere. Where do you think they end up? AAC, Mountain West, ACC, Independent, let me know. Let me know in the comments section, and we're going to follow this story and see it all the way through. Wow, SMU being considered along with California and Stanford. Can SMU finally jump over the wall, climb over the wall into a power conference? We shall see. Stick with us here, PATC, until next time. From all of us to all of you, please, please, you all take great care of each other. Thank you so very much.